Hey, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this crazy journey to unconditional love. And so what I have today is a song which has a message in it for you from your lovely divine counterparts. And also a message from a healing yesterday that I forgot to talk about. It was quite an abstract healing. It was basically about what I saw was that they were on a farm and they had a pig and they were delivering and then the pig had 10 piglets. Um, now, of course, thinking about that, it's very symbolic that it's 10 because 10 is the closure of one cycle in its new beginnings. And basically they took the pigs to the market and then they were showing the pigs around and the, and the judges were scoring the pigs and they were getting 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And then I saw them go back and her divine partner said, you see, we have to get it just right. Uh, basically saying that you have to lay the groundwork and wanted everything to be right to come back to her. Because when I searched the pig symbology, it was about abundance and about um, wealth. And so it was very much about knowing that actually what's happening at the moment in their case was about laying the correct groundwork for them to come together. And I also was guided to search for the theme tune to an old film, which is called Charlotte's Web. And Charlotte's Web was about a spider who befriended a pig. Now, um, in the uh, when I sent the lady the healing, because of course that's quite an obscure healing, uh, but when I sent to her, she came back and she said, well, A, that she'd been seeing lots of spider webs, and spiders I'm going to read you now, because it's the message today is about the spider from the animal spirit. Um, but not only had she been sp seeing spiders, but she was eating bacon at the time <laughs> that she was reading my email. And she said, actually, it's very unusual that I would do that. I wouldn't be normally eating bacon. <laughs> so I was just like, oh my God, it's just too funny. So this message about the spider is this, which is again, a lovely message because the spider Weaving webs of delight, weave me a peaceful world, carrying creation in your web, waiting to be unfurled. The spider wove the web that brought humans the first picture of the alphabet. The letters were part of the angles of her web. Dear asked the spider what she was weaving and why all the lines looked like symbols. And spider replied, why dear, it is time for us children to learn to make records of their progress in their earth walk. Dear, answered Spider, but they already have pictures that show through symbols the stories of their experiences. Yes, Spider said, but Earth's children are growing more complex and their future generations will need to know more. The ones to come won't remember how to read the petroglyphs. So it was that Spider wove the first primordial alphabet as she had woven the dream of the world that had become manifest. Spider's dream of the physical world had come to fruition millions of years before. And Spider's body is made like the number eight, consisting of two lobe-like parts connected at the waist and eight legs. Spider is a symbol for the infinite possibilities of creation. Her eight legs represent the four winds of change and the four directions on the medicine wheel. Spider weaves the webs of fate for those who get caught in her web and become her dinner. This is similar to humans who get caught in the web of illusion in the physical world and never see beyond the horizon into the other dimensions. The web of fate also represents a wheel of life, which does not include any alternatives or solutions. It is typically human to get caught in the polarity of good or bad fortune without realizing that we can change it at any time. If we are not decisive enough about changing our lots in life, we may end up being consumed by the fears of limitations. Spider is the female energy of the creative force that weaves the beautiful designs of life. Her web has hundreds of intricate patterns which catch the morning dew. If Spider has dropped from her web into your cards today, she may be telling you to create, create, create. Look for new alternatives to your present impasse. She can also be warning you that you are coming too close to an entangling situation. Spider could be asking you to use a journal to write out and review your progress. 
If you do this, you will not forget how you are creating a new or different phase in your life. Spider brings a message of a different kind when she sees you becoming a bit too involved in the weaving of your life and plans to notice opportunity at the outskirts of your web. If this is the case, Spider gets your attention so that you notice that something you have woven has borne fruit. Congratulations! Spider caught you just in time, before you missed the opportunity on the edge of your web or reality. The most important message from Spider is that you are an infinite being who will continue to weave the patterns of life and living throughout time. Do not fail to see the expansiveness of the eternal plan. Well... You know, how perfect is that? Because that is also about seeing it beyond the veil of um, illusion, right? Beyond the veil of lack. So this sense of having being abundant is purely, you know, releasing all blocks to abundance and letting abundance flow into you. And so, again, I mean, just an amazing message to remember that we are weaving this amazing cobweb of life and we are being able to look from that higher realm. Okay, so a spider always looks at the web, the web is always high up to look down. And if you think that's what we're able to do, because we can see into the higher realms and look at life beyond the illusion of fear, of, of um, lack, of, of everything else. So, uh, so that's the first thing. So amazing, because again, I was kind of like, why am I seeing loads of pigs? It was quite bizarre. But he was quite very specific about it. He was like, no, we have to show the perfect pigs, you know. And so the message was very clear that, you know, for, that, for them, it was about he wanted to be in the right place and have the right things in order to support their relationship. So um, the next thing is, is this song has been sent to me. I'm going to read the message because, again, I know that we have all felt this. So the song is by a guy called David Corey. So obviously DC, the divine counterpart. Not only that, it also has 69,000 subscribers. 69 obviously being, being the divine mirror. And the first comment has 33 likes on it. Now 33 is the doorway to romance in the energy deck that I use, which means that they are opening up more and more to their heart and I really have at the moment this real sense that they just really want to be able to say it and want to be able to speak up to you. Um, obviously everyone's at different stages in their journey right so you know this you, know, you tap into your own intuition. Um, one thing that I'm going to be adding to my offering is to if you want to get a, a message from your twin um, which will just be a quick, I'll tap into your energies, it won't be a healing, but I'll just tap into your energies to get you like a, you know, what do they want to say to you now, um, kind of message. So just to, basically if you're feeling, and it will just be $10. So um, it will be a short message, but it will just be what's the key thing that they want you to know right now. And, um, and then I'll write it, you'll receive an email of what they say. And um, I'll wait because it could be that a song comes through for you as well or whatever comes through. But I will um, go, do that. Uh, it's only $10 and I will add that offering to, um, to the list. So, they, so I, what I do is I do healing. So, if I, so the full healing is where I tap into your energies and see what, you know, the, the one about the pig that I just mentioned was basically a healing because... A lot of it was having to heal his conception around having to, you know, I was like, in the healing, I said to him, you know, it's not about the pigs. <laughs> she would be with you without the pigs or not, you know, <laughs> it's not about the pigs, it's about you. And so it that obviously was about having his sense of self-worth was around his material um, life. And actually, it's nothing about your material life. It's about the heart. And so that was kind of the, the ethos of that healing. So anyway, but if you do want a direct message, then I can do that. And it would only be $10, but it'll be a quick, you know, whatever's the key thing they want to tell you now. Okay, so I'm just going to read this message because again, gorgeous. So I first met my twin when I was 14 in 2004. I'm 28 now and I've literally just found this out. That the way I've felt all my life is actually a thing and other people experience it too. It's an amazing feeling to know that I'm actually not crazy, and he isn't either. 
and I just feel like my whole life makes sense now. And our separation that we're in at the moment and have been on and off all our lives makes sense now too. I can feel him always and I always can. And um, so that is so lovely because that's exactly how I felt. So I only found out about Twin Flames, you know, kind of after I'd met my, I can't even remember now, but for a long time I just thought I was mad, you know, and I thought I was kind of like maybe obsessed. Oh, I don't know. I just, I couldn't understand it because I just, when we, when I separated, well, so when I met him, it was such a whirlwind and it was crazy and it was intense and we were both like quite, you know, now I look back and I can understand why we had to separate because we were both crazy, you know, very um, addictive kind of party people. And uh, we frankly would have killed each other if we'd stayed, you know, that was not the right time. So that's why my life has changed beyond all, you know, you know, meeting it. Ironically, that meeting was what, what has, you know, changed my life, right? Well, not ironically, that is what happens. But for a long time, I actually thought I was going mad. And so when I found out about Twin Flames and started reading about stuff, um, I was like, oh my God, I'm not mad. I was like, oh, thank God. And I was thinking, oh my God, this is actually a thing. So when I read her email and she said, <laughs> it really is a thing, I was like, oh, that's exactly what I said to myself as well. Because I was like, oh my God, yes, this is actually a thing. And I can, I can totally relate to everyone here. And I was just like, oh my God, thank God, thank God, thank God. So, um, so this song is directly from your divine mask, your divine counterpart then, because it is DC and it has the 69 on it. And remember, you are a mirror for each other. So they feel you, you feel them. Okay, so the song is, no distance can keep me away from you. And no matter how many miles I travel through, I know that our love will never die. So don't worry when it's time to say goodbye. I'll be there when you close your eyes and I'll be there when the stars collide. And I'll be there when the sun goes around the moon. And I'll be there, I'll be there for you. When you dream of me out there on my own, just know my heart, it's all where you hope. So keep the love we have built inside, cause soon I'll be there right by your side. I'll be there when you close your eyes and I'll be there when the stars collide. And I'll be there when the sun goes around the moon and I'll be there, I'll be there with you. It's no matter if the sky is about to fall, I'll fly to you. Even if it rains out, to, out day and night, I'll swim to you. I would walk the hardest days just to hold your hand. And in your arms, everything, it's okay. And I'll be there when you close your eyes. I'll be there when the stars collide. I'll be there when the sun goes around the moon. And I'll be there. I'll be there for you. Now look at the end of this, this is so perfect, because this is, he wants, you see the massive microphone, right? So the reason why this is so perfect is because I have that real sense that they actually really want to be able to tell you this. The other thing is, in the energy read that I did yesterday, the grounding energy was about <laughs> wanting to blow their own trumpet with this love. Now look, right at the bottom where the lyrics are, it says, DC with love, and I'll be there with you. So... There you go. That is today's message. And remember, we are weaving this amazing web to look beyond the illusion, the illusion of lack, fear, right? Into love, faith, trust, hope. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.